Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Gerber machetes again. I did uh, make a, a video how that uh, machete did fail on me really bad. It's a dangerous tool. Unfortunately I did never get any, any uh, answer from Gerber if they did uh, change the, the tang or make any improvements but I still see that machete is a uh, be sold by by many stores so so I don't know how how well they hold up I can just say for for me myself it did completely fail and uh, if you want to see the details then uh, look on my YouTube channel there there it is listed as a Gerber Gerber uh, machete video so I want to make it really simple and give a quick update where we stand on this Basically, uh, I did not want to spend much time at all on fix this machete up. Uh, I like the blade so much that I did take the time and fix it up. Uh, part of it is already done, but uh, as simple and easy as possible. So what I did is make this cardboard drawing of the handle of the real handle that is the, the plastic handle that that uh, the other one did did break basically this is from the the little version and uh, the little version has the same tang as the the bigger version so that's gonna break as well so with that pattern i uh, got me so far two pieces of of steel it's just uh i would say it's a it's nearly three millimeter thick steel just a regular regular steel i did uh, get that by the local uh, shop it's nothing uh, it's just a regular steel it's no heat treatable or whatever as i say i want to make this as simple as possible it's a machete and not a, a fancy uh, custom knife so basically i made the shape and i welded it on with some uh, points and uh, filled the the hole grind it off a bit flat and uh, then I made according to the pattern I just put it on and uh, and uh, punched through the where the hole will be for the lanyard and for two screws now next step is to uh, get a bit wood I'm gonna looking for a for a laminated wood that it uh, has at the end about that thickness here uh, it should be a little bit less thick than than this one as i gonna gonna wrap the handle where i grip about from from here to here with a with a paracord uh, that i just wanted to to have a bit of uh, paracord with me together with the machete so worst case uh, i can have it unwrapped and and uh, use the cord as well so next thing is uh, this side is flat there is gonna gonna come a bit of, a piece of wood and this piece we have the overlapping from the machete to the to the metal so here is gonna come a, a piece of a uh, wood and i gonna gonna uh, it's like a, a wood, uh, a router. Router is the, the US name. So so with the router I just gonna roughly route that out by the wood so it fits and then uh, with, a, with a special good uh, glue I gonna glue that together and uh, of course these two holes gonna be with screws, simple screws and nuts. Then I gonna round off the edges a bit, make it a bit nice and uh, clean for the for the hand and as i say then then i gonna wrap a paracord i would say from about here to about here so that that will just go go around and it's gonna be uh, two different colors one will be olive green and the other either either a brown or a gray i don't know yet that we uh, have a bit the difference between the, the the blades that i know which one is is which uh, that matters because uh, maybe this one is new, like new, this one is used, that is the one that, that broke on me. So so I'm going to use up first 
for step plate so so uh, if that handle is green olive green then we see oh yeah that that's the used one and uh, the nice one is in a uh, storage with uh, with the brown uh, handle then we know yes that's the brand new one and uh, of course i need to test that out really really hard safety first but uh, really hard that that last with the welding that is not the problem and it will give it uh, enough stability i did not want to spend the time and and they uh, cut that nicely i'll put the, the blade in and and weld it shut so i just overlapped it it's a machete the cold steel ones that i get i pay as yes, a dealer about eight dollars so so it's really not worth it to do to, to do much with this i just like the blade i like the saw back with the uh, with the uh, paracord the sheet is great everything is pretty good just the the, the grip is really really bad so so uh, as that works out by testing then the smaller one gonna follow with the same the same uh, grip and there maybe i gonna put a, a black paracord we will see i don't know yet yeah that much about that uh third video will will uh, follow it's just uh, too bad that Gerber did, did make such a such a product that it's not gonna gonna last or hold. If uh, the grip would be like this, completely out of one piece of metal, and then screw on or molded on the the, the handle on the full tang, that would be would be a heck of a great uh, product in my opinion. But uh, they we we see here. Originally saw back goes all the way back here. They already saved a bit on on a uh, Production by uh, making the saw shorter. I Don't know if that is a uh, about uh, If you grip forward, but this this part here that basically gives you enough protection that you don't Yeah grip grip over it Anyways that much about the uh, Gerber update the Gerber machete that will get fixed up and then uh, tested out.